and welcome back to another video. My name is Ayesta, if you don't already know, and welcome to Flying Oyster. Um, first of all, I just want to say, two videos in one week. Who am I? A professional, that's who I am. Um, I set up my microphone this time. I just want to check that everything's going. Okay, it's going well, because um, I forgot to turn it on. Um, in my previous video and the cam and the video quality was very bad and I really apologize um, But hopefully today will be better and um, in other news. I bought a ring light Really stepping up this game Really trying to make it better for you to watch and easier and like the lighting is all good and um, but today I'm just gonna do a more simple romantic kind of look with like browns and stuff like that um, so if you would like to see what look I create then please keep on watching so to begin I'm going to use elf poreless plushy primer um, first and then I'm going to put the Effeclair matte anti shine anti enlarge pores um, from La Roche Posay however you pronounce that um, and apparently this is meant to be good for like oily skin and um, as a base for your makeup so I want to try it and see if it works so I'm just gonna grab some of the e.l.f. product and just kind of place it in my T-zone area. Lovely. And then I'm gonna use the moisturizer. So now I just put on my moisturizer, um, the mattifying one, it feels still kind of oily, which is weird. But anyways, I want to try the Ole Henriksen Lana Bright Eye Cream and I want to put that just before I put on my concealer and foundation because supposedly it's meant to be good like for a concealer and like prevent creases and stuff so I just want to give that a try. I usually use this in the evening but I thought I'd try it in my makeup routine. So that's what it looks like inside and I'm just going to grab a little bit and I'm just going to pat that under my eye. Zip. <laughs> under my eyes. Lovely. So that's done now and I'm just going to do my base now. In my previous video I used the Fenty Beauty um, Pro Filter Matte Foundation and I mixed it with the Revolution Conceal and Define in C3 because um, it's a bit dark for me and I actually like the way it looked so I'm just going to do the same thing again today and I'm just grabbing my foundation brush that I always use I'm just going to mix them together at the back of my hand I'm just going to pat that on first just to kind of distribute the product all over my face bring it down to your neck and literally it's like my skin I can still see through the foundation like it's not caked on or anything I really like it and I'm gonna grab the same concealer and just a little bit here and here and then in here and out see you like that and then just a little bit more where I kind of need it in certain areas and I take the same brush and just kind of pat that in so that's done and I'm gonna go back in again with the same concealer and put the tiniest bit on my eyes and I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just blend that out so I'm just gonna set my face and I'm gonna take the I think it's Rimmel London translucent powder I'm running low on it and I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and just kind of do my t-zone and I'm just grabbing a tapered brush this is from I think real techniques and I'm just gonna set my under eyes so next I'm taking the Hoola Caramel Benefit Bronzer and I'm just like this really goes a long way so I literally just tap tap inside of it and that's it because it gets very um, intense <laughs> like really quick so I literally grab it like this and I just slightly do like that if you get me because if I have it here I'm going to be more intense with it so I want, I want light application so you'll be able to see it here. So I start kind of at my hairline and you can see look already there's stuff there so I'm just going to kind of transfer it to this side as well because I don't want it to be too dark and then I'm just going to blend that out just following the hollows of my cheekbones um, and then I'm just going to also put it in the what's this my forehead um, I seem to be having a receding hairline <laughs> because look at this Look at that! Oh, look at all the space where my hair should be! So I want that contoured. I want to bring that down. And then with whatever it's what's left, I just kind of do my nose a little bit just to bring some colour to it. Just a tad bit. 
you're done with your bronzing. So I actually have the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in the shade Soft Pink 14, I assume. Um, my friend gave it to me and I want to try cream blush because I haven't tried it before. Well, I'm a bit scared, but I might do it. I'll do it with my finger. And I wonder how it's going to be on top of um, powder and stuff. So I'll just grab a little bit. It's very, very, very pink. Um, I'm so used to my next one that I love in the shade Amber. I, I, just, I just this color. I love this color. And I used to hate blushes. Why am I struggling to open it? But this is the color of it. And I used to hate blushes, like I was saying. But that color. Mm. Anyways, we'll try this. And I'm just going to like oh, lightly, lightly kind of tap it. Okay. I can see it in person and it looks really nice in person. It's like really subtle, but in camera for some reason it's just not picking it up. So I'm just gonna go over it with the NYX Amber um, blush. And I'm just taking a blush brush. I always struggle saying that. I'm just gonna grab a little bit and I'm just gonna kind of tap on top of that. So I want to do like a cat eye thing, if you get me. So what I'm gonna do is get some tape and just not too long and I'm gonna place it like let's say on my hand here just so it's not too sticky when I place it under my eye under my eyes <laughs> just like that so I'm just taking it and I'm placing it kind of like the in this angle so it's with the tail of my eyebrow but I'm not placing it right under my bottom lashes as well because I want to then drag the eyeshadow down so it's all in the same line if you get me so I'm just going to leave a little space between my lashes and the tape and just do it like that. There you go. So to begin, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to take the Vive Essential Palette. And I'm going to grab the shade Chow, the shade there. And I'm just going to focus this um, up this like up above my crease. Oh my God, why am I unable to, to speak? Lord, I'm gonna focus this um, in my crease, but above my crease. So not directly in my crease, above my crease. You'll see once I'm doing it. Just lightly going towards my eyebrows. just like that and do the same to the other eye. Next I'm taking the So Sue Hot Fire Remastered palette um, and it looks like that. And I'm going to take the shade Ignite, this one there, and I'm taking my crease blush, crease brush. I'm really struggling today. And I'm just, just taking a little bit of that as well and I'm focusing this in my crease. And I want to make it, my crease just a bit darker, so I'm going to take the shade Heat from the Sosu palette on the same brush and just focus in again in my crease. So I'm going to grab the shade Radiant, this one here, and I'm just going to take my ring finger and pat that into the shade, and I'm just going to lightly pat that in the middle of my eye. Lovely, lovely subtle gold. And I'm just gonna bring that up over my crease, just so when I open my eye, you can see it. And there's actually no fallout, which is really good. And I'm just gonna slightly bring that into my inner eye as well and next i'm gonna take a clean brush just any clean brush i just have this one here and i just want to blend that all in into my crease so i'm really happy with that it's very simple very easy but i like it sometimes simple is better than doing all these 
extra colors or crazy steps and creasing and cut creasing and all this stuff. Something simple is easy, quick and just it looks effortless. So next I'm going to do my eyeliner and I'm going to use brown eyeshadow to use instead of black just to kind of tie everything together because I feel like if I did a black liquid eyeliner it's just going to really stand out and that's not kind of what I'm going for today. So I'm going to go back into my Vive palette and I'm going to grab the shade Delicious and I have the NYX Professional Makeup um, in 18 which is just a eyeliner brush <laughs> or for your eyebrows and I just kind of tap tap the product onto it onto the brush so now we have the cellar tape to guide us with the eyeliner so if you're not good with doing eyeliner this is the best trick you can possibly find and this makes it the easiest thing to do so you literally just start by drawing along that look at oh my god the pigment jesus christ but just start by drawing along the tape and bringing it down to your lash line And you can go kind of how high up you want, just it's your own preference. If you prefer a really like long eye wing, then you can do that. If you prefer short, then you can create a shorter one. And I'm just going to drag it down then. And then I'm also going to do it on my lash line and just connect it all. And then you can remove the tape. And it reveals a nice little line. I'm just gonna go back with my foundation brush and just kind of blend it all out. So next, I'm just going to take this, um, I usually use this for like my under eyes. Um, it's a small little blending brush. I'm gonna take that same delicious shade, which is the same color as the eyeliner. And I'm gonna put that under my eye just to kind of bring it all together. Just a little bit. So this is what it looks like now. I just blended that delicious shade under my lash line as well. So on another tapered brush, I'm gonna grab the shade Iced from the Sosu palette. I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this shade and also just a bit on my inner eye. I keep calling this inner eye, but I know there's a name for this. But I don't know what, I don't know what's the name. <laughs> what is it? Your tear duct? I don't know, I'm making up stuff now at this stage. Okay. Lovely. Lashes time next. I'm going to put on mascara, but before I do that, I wanna choose what eyelashes I want because I don't think so, I want very intense because it's not a very intense look so I want like natural lashes and um, my sister got me the Sosu Starry-Eyed Lash Collection for Christmas and I haven't used a pair yet um, and there's I think what is it three six Jesus it's a whole shebang and there's there's more lashes in there as well there's two four six eight lashes I'm gonna grab these ones here called Uptown Welcome back. It's literally been half an hour. These lashes, they were testing me. They were testing me. Now, I love them because they look so natural, but the lash line is paper thin and they're literally like wobbly like this. Usually a lash is curved, you know, like this. No, wobbly. She was literally like this. So coming off everything, but it looks so natural. Just a beautiful lash. So, you know, it, it was worth it. It was worth the effort. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna grab the Vive highlighter in the shade Bijou. I'm just gonna take a taper brush and just lightly tapping it. So I just finished my lips and I just used a Penny's lip liner in the shade 05, I think it's called. It's just a red. And then I have a Freedom uh, lipstick as well, which I don't know what shade it's in. It's not telling me, but it's just like a very bright red. 
So this is my final look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's easy to follow. I always say this because I feel like my videos are just so all over the place and it's hard to follow or understand what I'm saying. So I just want to give that disclaimer out all the time. But um, yeah, this is the final look. You can always um, change the lip color to whatever color obviously you would like. You can even wear this look every day, just change the lip color like to a nude, which just ties everything that together even better. So if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. I will link all my socials down below. I have Instagram, Twitter and TikTok now. Um, just trying to expand my horizon, you know. Um, and I link everything that I used today as much as I can, obviously, in the description as well, just to make it all easier for you. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.